Today I'm going to do one of my most favorite Parsi recipes. It is Patrani Machi. Well, this is something that Parsis are most known for. This is the Bombay chef Varun Dar, and welcome to Get Curried. Let's first make the chutney for the Patrani Machi. For the chutney, I have some coconut. Well, I have some sliced coconut. You can also take some grated or scraped coconut. I have some coriander. I've just washed it and soaked it in some water. Roughly cutting this. This goes in. Now goes in some green chilies. Now green chilies, I love spicy food and I'm adding in a little bit more, but nevertheless, choice is absolutely yours. In goes some garlic paste. In goes some sugar. Some lemon juice and salt. I'm going to mix this and this goes in the mixer grinder and I'm going to run this into a very fine paste. Well, you can also grind this coarse. The choice is yours. Well, at this stage, you can add in a little bit of water, only if required. Now that the chutney is ready, I'm giving it a mix. And now, let's start cutting the fish. So I have this fillet of a boneless fish. I'm using basa. Well, you can use pomfret, you can use kingfish, surmai, ravas. Choice is yours. Now, I am cutting this into thin, long strips. So, something like this. Well, I'm dividing this fillet into four. You can keep the whole fillet. You can cut it into small chunks. Well, the portion that your family would like. So, I'm cutting this into four. And here I have these strips of fish, which are ready. And now on top goes the chutney. Now I'm going to mix this masala very gently because the fish is a very gentle meat. So very gently, but make sure it is evenly mixed. So now that we've nicely applied this masala onto the fish, now is the time we start steaming this. Now for steaming, I'm going to use banana leaves. So I have these green banana leaves here. I'm going to cut these like so. We have to make sure we do not use the spine of this leaf and we only use the soft pliable part of this leaf. So here I'm cutting it into these little strips. And this is where we're going to encase the fish into. Now that I've cut these leaves roughly three to four times the size of the fillet of the fish, let's quickly wash this. And we also need to remember we have to pat this completely dry because you do not want unnecessary water in your marination or in the fish. So I'm giving it a little wash. And now I'm going to dab this absolutely dry. Now these leaves are absolutely dry. Now if you notice, these leaves can actually get cut into these strips. So to avoid that while we are folding it, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to heat them a little. So I'm just heating these leaves lightly so that they become nice and pliable. So it becomes easy to encase the patrani machi. So here's a simple trick for you. Well, tongs are just for your safety. I've been doing this for many years, so I'm used to this. But nevertheless, when you're doing it for the first time, make sure you use tongs. So now that this is done, off goes the flame. And now is the time to start encasing the patrani machi. So now I'm lifting each of this marinated fish piece and placing it right in the center of the leaf. Now the excess masala, we just have to divide it on all of it to make sure it's nice and evenly coated. Now I'm going to create an envelope out of this. So I'm first going to fold it like this, then fold it from the other side, then from the other side, and finally, the fourth side. So here I have this envelope, which is ready. So similarly, I start making envelopes of the other fish pieces as well. So similarly, now you have to make sure that the seam side or the side which is open is always down. So now that the fish is ready to steam, where is the steamer? Here is the steamer. So what I have here is a saucepan, which I've taken with some water. So in goes some water. And now what sits comfortably on this is a sieve. So the same sieve that we use to sieve the flowers, 
So that sits very comfortably on top of this. And finally, I have this lid which goes right here. So the water starts boiling, generates the steam, steams the fish and this lid makes sure it encloses the steam. So that's how we have this home built steamer. So now I'm placing the fish on this. Finally goes the lid, on goes the flame, medium to high, five to seven minutes, but make sure you check the doneness of the fish. If it's not done, extend some time, but make sure the fish is absolutely soft and tender. So now is the time, the flame goes off, and you check this fish. Now that Patrani Machi is ready, do try it at home and wait for what next the Bombay chef gets into your kitchen.